All right, it's Sunday morning. We're uh, ready to start picking corn. Yesterday we did the last little repairs and things on the stock chopper and uh, last little bit of lubrication schedule kind of stuff on equipment. Uh, so we were ready to go by mid-afternoon, but we had to deliver hay to a customer who wanted some hay for their animals. And since that is another way that the farm remains financially solvent, we figured we better just do that. And uh, by the time we got back, it was getting a little late we don't like to run in the dark with this older equipment, so we just decided to call it and then start this morning. So I picked up some rocks and some of the soybean fields, and uh, we had supper, kind of called it a night. So now we're ready to go. We had to cut a tree off of a field road that we're going to use to haul loads. We had a downed tree, so we cut that up this morning. And uh, now we're just fueling up. We're going to get going, and Dad's going to start taking headlands off the fields. This corn's a little short. Probably not gonna get much off of that. <laughs> so Dad takes the headlands off. Those are the rows that go the opposite direction on the ends of the field. And then I'll come along with the stock chopper and chop them down so that they're kind of pulverized and shredded. And then that's where he turns around every time he goes in and out of the field to take the longer rows. So we're gonna kind of go in that order here this morning. got stuck once I just finished pulling him out so hopefully that doesn't happen too often it's a little smeary out here That's it for those headlands. Now I will take this rig right here, the 4020 and the stock chopper, and clean those off so that we're not running down all the stalks as we turn around on the headlands. Well, we made ourselves a little bit of a mess. It's really greasy in parts of this field. I've had to pull Dad out three times. Now he has to go to a little family gathering, so I'm gonna try to start picking on some of the higher ground here so that uh, while he's gone, I don't bury the tractor because there's no one around to help me uh, until he gets back in a little while. So, see what kind of trouble we can cause. Well, I got two loads. They're kind of short loads. Not the biggest, but the field is wet and the corn is heavy in the loads, so I kind of wanted to keep them a little bit shorter so that I don't accidentally get stuck. Dad's still gone, um, so until he gets back, uh, I didn't want to get myself into any kind of trouble. And I want to see how the M's going to pull these loads, given that they're higher moisture and a little heavier weight. So I'm going to run one of these back and unload it and then keep going in the field. No problem so far, but she's probably going to park a little going uphill. One thing about unloading cob corn is that even though it's in the gravity box where it should flow down the slope in the, on the inside of the wagon, it doesn't run like shelled grain does, so it is a little bit more labor because you're constantly pulling the cobs out and you have to kind of control the flow of the cobs into the elevator.
Well, clearly that's an example of something you don't want to have happen. Something jammed, I'm not sure what yet. I guess we'll find out. Well, the short answer is that the elevator chain is too loose, so the tensioners are up top. We'll have to go up and tighten that up. Well, I think that got it, but we'll have to try it and see. All right, so the paddles here, the big paddles on the main part of the elevator, are getting caught on a stray piece of sheet metal down on the bottom where they come around. Um, so I gotta fold this thing up and do a little quick surgery. Um, I'm not gonna record that. You've probably seen enough repair work, so just know that we need to do it. <laughs> and, uh, and once it's done, then we should be able to work efficiently. Well, we got it fixed. To be honest, I'm not even sure how I did it. I just took it apart, took it apart on the bottom and banged on some stuff, worked out any little kinks that I thought were maybe catching the paddles and said a few curse words, sacrificed a frog, burned something in effigy, I don't know, it's just, it's working now. Well, we're making a little bit of progress out here after that little bit of mechanical trouble with the elevator. Dad got back uh, while I was tinkering with that. But we've got the field opened up here and the yield isn't too terrible so far. I do really like seeing all this green in between these corn rows. That's pretty nice. Of course, once you stock chop it, it sort of all blends together like over on the headlands here, but that'll come back through there. It'll get a little more growth time yet this year. Well, this is pretty much just what I do now. Run loads. Everything's running pretty smoothly again. Another load in, that's four so far. It takes about 12 to fill a crib, give or take. That's a good thing those loader arms don't block the lights or anything. So it looks like Dad just finished picking out this strip here, but I can tell you that down there is a muddy, soupy, greasy mess. So now he's moving up. Let me look past the muffler here. He's moving up to some higher ground. And we pretty much decided it doesn't matter what order we're, we go in, we're going to harvest out these higher areas first that aren't so muddy. And then later this week the temperatures are supposed to be way lower. The, the high during a couple of days is actually below freezing. So if the ground freezes and crusts over and all that mud kind of stiffens up, we can put the 4020 on the corn picker and then we should be able to get through some of those areas. Well, the fields are muddy and messy, but it's okay because the yield isn't that good. Conversely, I suppose you could say, the yield isn't that good, but that's okay because the prices aren't that great. Dad's got the lights on. We just fell back uh, for daylight savings time last night, so it's only about 5.30, but it's already getting dark. We won't run too much longer. With this older equipment, it just isn't worth it to run in the dark. If you have a breakdown, it always ends up being twice as bad because you don't see it until it's already destroyed more stuff than it would have had the same problem happen during the day. So. I think we're only going to go a little bit longer here and then we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Well, as I was unloading the last load of corn last night in the dark, the tire blew out on the wagon. Wah, 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 wah. Alright, crisis averted. It's the wrong color, but then again, it doesn't seem to matter much around here. Oh, what next? Dad didn't even get all the way out to the field and this happened. Well, by some miracle, we discovered that we actually have an old tire from our old junk corn picker out in the pasture. This is the last picker tire that we've got, so we'll see how it does. It's pretty weather checked and rotten from laying out in the woods, but it may very well hold up. It looks like it's in better shape than the one that's on the picker. If all else fails, we've got a manure spreader that's got the same size hub and rims, so if this one blows out, we can always put one of those on, but it's just a waste of time. Well, 
anybody want to take bets on how long this one will go? Or until the next wagon tire blows out or whatever else today? It's like 10 o'clock in the morning and we still haven't got anything done except change two tires. Frustrating. All right, well, take two. See how he does on this round. Hopefully nothing else blows up. So in an effort to avoid the muddy spots, he's gonna take some headlands off on another field. Uh, I'm gonna get the stock chopper going and run through some of the stuff we've already done while I wait for him. And then I'll chop those headlands so that we aren't driving over the corn stalks. And then, uh... for a second, I thought that tire blew again or something. I thought I heard a bang. <laughs> it didn't, good. Um... <laughs> But uh, we're gonna try to uh, keep rolling here and get into the drier spots. We've got one whole field that's pretty dry, so the goal is to get into that field and try to get that completely cleaned off today, if we can, now that we've been delayed. Looks like Dad had a little trouble, but he somehow managed to get through it. There he is, rolling. And I'm mowing the lawn. Well, the sun's coming out. We didn't blow any more tires. Dad's got some headlands picked off. I got the headlands uh, chopped up with a stock chopper. He's moving along. He's going to open up the next field, and I get to start running loads. Finally, things are going okay. Well, we've pretty much settled into a rhythm for the rest of the day here. Dad's picking. I'm running loads, and the crib is slowly filling up. supper I decided to come out and chop some stalks for a little bit. Uh, it's about nine o'clock now. I think I'm gonna probably wrap it up for the day. Uh, could run late but we gotta start again in the morning and tomorrow we're probably gonna get muddy since we picked out all the dry areas today. So there we go. That's it. Check out these field lights though. Remember I told you about these earlier? On an old 4020 that is unreal. I mean, part of the reason I like working with this thing at night now is because of those lights. It's like daylight. I'm gonna buy a couple of them for the old farm all M just to blow people's minds. <laughs> 